to uh, attacks on the neck as, as chokeholds, okay, and uh, that's the standard method in, in the United States. Um, and people often ask, well, why, why do you call them strangleholds? Like, uh, you, you must understand there's a difference between choking, which is an attack on the airway to the lungs, versus strangling, which is an attack on the blood supply to the brain. Um, think about this uh, in, in everyday terms, Bernardo. If I asked you to hold your breath, you're a good athlete, and I'm sure you could hold your breath for at least two, maybe three minutes. And with some training, you could probably go even beyond that. Um, so by stopping air to the lungs, by holding your breath, you can retain consciousness for pretty long periods of time, two minutes, three minutes, in extreme cases, all the way up, I believe, beyond five minutes. Uh, but there's no one in the world that can train themselves to stay conscious during a stranglehold. Okay, stopping the air to the lungs is one thing, and it takes quite a long time to make someone pass out using that method. This is attack on the blood supply to the brain, which will render anybody unconscious in a matter of seconds, usually between six to 12 seconds, depending on the stranglehold and depending upon the opponent. Um, so you can see that qualitatively, there's a complete difference between an attack on the air to the lungs, which takes a very long time to take effect, and an attack on the blood supply to the brain, which takes very little time to take effect. Um, understand that all of the hardware that's been attacked in a stranglehold is in the neck. And the neck is a very curious part of the human body when it comes to the sport of uh, jiu-jitsu and, and, and martial arts in general. Um, the average male human neck is somewhere between 14 to 19 inches, depending upon their level of athleticism and size, etc., etc. So uh, a world champion black belt like Bernardo might have an 18 or 19 inch neck, and someone who doesn't train at all and physically diminutive might be around 14 inches. There's a lot of hardware inside that very small circumference. Uh, inside that circumference, you've got two carotid arteries going up to the brain, carrying around two thirds of your blood supply. You've got two subspinal arteries going up the back, bringing about a third of your blood supply to the brain. You've got a jugular vein bringing blood back down from the brain, back to the heart. You've got the trachea, the, um, uh, the passageway for air to your lungs. There's a lot of very, very valuable material based inside that very small circumference. Inevitably, as a result of this, whenever you go to attack one of these things, you will inevitably attack the other. So if I put a major stranglehold on, your, uh, on an opponent, the compression around the neck will simultaneously block the, uh, the blood supply to the brain, or at least partially block it, and it will probably have a secondary effect of also stopping you from breathing, just because the trachea is positioned right next door to the carotid arteries. So an attack on one will inevitably be an attack on the others as well. But please understand, when you close off both the air passage to the lungs and the blood supply to the brain, the blood supply to the brain will kick in and have an effect long before the air supply to the lungs. So you're passing out from the strangle, not from the, the choking effect. Uh, a simple way to think about chokes is they're typically things that occur at the dinner table. You eat your food too quickly and it goes in the wrong passage and you start choking, okay? Um, you can stay conscious under those circumstances for a long period of time. Uh, contrast that with a stranglehold, which is applied when you're unconscious in a matter of eight seconds. Um, so it's important we understand uh, the anatomy of the human body and exactly what we're trying to attack. Anytime we go to, to uh, attack our training partner's necks, with uh, uh, one of these holds, it's always the strangle hold that we're looking for. There will be an indirect attack on your opponent's ah! well, just to try to hit it.